Jeff got. Hi, this is Stan Houston, and uh, that is the name of the program today. My favorite uh, consultant, Bugs Bunny, with uh, What's Up, Doc? Christian Entrepreneur Network. I'm the founder of What It Takes Radio, uh, What It Takes Audio Video Programming. I'm the guy who put that together. And I'd just like to take a few minutes today. And what is today? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? You know, it is hard to keep track of things because in so many ways, the markers that we put in the days of the week are, are gone. And I guess I'm not the only one of senior status who, uh, or encore possibilities who uh, is dealing with that issue as I've had a conversation with a number of people. Yes, indeed. What's up, Doc? What's going on? And in my previous presentation, I, I talked about that that one of the best things you can do to yourself and, of course, to other people, particularly in these leadership times, is simply to say, how are you? What's up, Doc? What's going on? And so I would like very much to be able to help you do just that. So what's up, Doc? We're going to be doing a radio, not video, uh, a radio programs, and I'm going to be calling a number of you, and if a number of you would wave your hand, you know, uh, stanhouston at gmail.com, and perhaps you have uh, 10 to 12, uh, maybe, uh, today we did one with Tim Hare, uh, and an incredible program that came to about 20, 21 minutes, that's about all, you know, the average TED Talk length. And it was an incredible conversation where he did most of the talking. And that's exactly the way I wanted to be. And it's of a topic of his choice. Uh, okay, what's up, Doc? With you, your business. Do you have any ideas? Things you'd like to share? Things you want to talk about? It's up to you. What's up, Doc? And uh, we'll put that program together, and uh, I think we'll be able, hopefully, if it works out with all of the things involved, we'll be able to put that on the World Wide Web as a part of our Master Entrepreneur Program, and we'd love for you to participate by just simply answering the question, hey, what's up, Doc? What's going on? And uh, go from there. So that's what I would prefer you to do, and uh, that's what I'm going to be asking you to do. And we're just going to keep doing that for a while. I hopefully will be able to do it on a almost daily, at least a, 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 a weekday. Yeah, weekday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday. Weekday basis. We certainly take the Sabbath, the Sunday off, and uh, we don't work that day. In fact, as someone once said, this could be a very good time for us to get back to that point of a, actually taking a full day where we really do nothing but reflect and rest and worship. Reflect, rest, and worship. By the way, that is one of the keys to success. Also, uh, I'm just going to suggest that perhaps this is a good time to call people up and just, again, ask them the question, how are you doing? What's up, Doc? What can I do for you? How can I help you? Uh, one of Jesus' favorite questions was, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? And uh, that's a good question for you to just simply put out and uh one of my friends, who was a very shy man as a young man and grew up to be uh, very successful in this field, said, I never got over my shyness, and it was really hard for me to pitch, but I became successful in my life and business because I would simply say, uh, how can I help you? And then, uh, even though it may have had nothing to do with my product or service or my business, uh, if they gave me an answer to that question, that's what I tried to do. How can I help you? Well, how can I help you? Uh, one of the things that's kind of fun also is to think of ways to recommend uh, people and the services they have to others. And so uh, I'm going to pass on a recommendation. One of my colleagues said to me, he said, Stan, I'm finally going to do what you said to do. 
there you are, and you can immediately, within uh, literally three to five minutes, be on the air with a radio program or put together uh, a fairly good video program to send to people, clients, customers, colleagues, uh, people who you want to be connected with. He said, as soon as we get a little time, uh, I want you to help me set up just exactly what you've said. Every business today should have a small studio room. And they should have the ability and they should have someone who knows how to have a little broadcast training and you set up a broadcast experience and uh, a broadcast system. And we'll be teaching you how to do that. It's very simple. Today, uh, the expense is, I would almost say, minimal so that you could be able to do the same kind of thing that I am doing right now, and we'll be doing this afternoon when I put together the podcast. And of course, if you raise your hand and want to be on the radio, it's very, very simple for me to contact you. All you will need is a laptop computer, and I would suggest you, ladies and gentlemen, start your microphones, get a reasonable quality USB microphone for your computer. You will need that. You will do better if you do that for my program, but uh, in today's world, you need not only your studio, but at least your laptop recorder has to have a USB microphone with it, and perhaps a recording system called Audacity, which is really hard to get. Yeah, it's free, and it's wonderful, and all you have to do is download it. And if you can't figure out, one of your colleagues or one of your kids certainly can do that for you. So those are a couple of recommendations for me and from me. And I just want to pass on uh, one of the uh, persons who actually helped me a, a great deal because he had, he had a wonderful way uh, of, of recommending people. And uh, he would recommend me from time to time. And I found this is what he had done. First of all, I was actually there one time. And boy, was I impressed. He actually, as a result of our conversation, picked up the phone and he called somebody and uh, said, Hey, I'm sitting here with my coach, Stan Houston, and I just want to tell you something. Based on what you told me yesterday about your business, you would be a fool not to give him a call. Did you hear me? You would be a fool not to give him a call. And he's right here if you want to talk to him. Otherwise, I'll give you his phone number and you can call him. But you would be foolish not to give him a call. Wow. How impressed I was with him. Obviously, how impressed the person was with him. And uh, a remarkable man of character and confidence. And, of course, uh, the ability to... Uh, stand up and say with great empathy, this will be good for all of us. I also just simply say, as I've discovered and talked about before, that another compliment that I got, and that's what this radio program is going to be about. Basically, I'm just going to let you talk. I'm just going to listen to you. Uh, I will have uh, no topic, no theme that I want to talk about. I will just certainly and simply kind of Try and listen to you. Okay? Well, you hear the phone is ringing, so somebody wants to talk to me, but uh, here's what I will want to share with you. And that is that uh, one of the persons, when I talked to them, said, um, you know, I called you up because your friend, your client said, when you uh, work with Stan... He will listen to you like you've never been listened to before. He will listen to you like you have never been listened to before. Well, that person calling on the phone right now is obviously very eager to talk to me, so I'm going to jump off this presentation, put it together, put it online, and uh, see if I can help you. And then I have to go and answer the phone and find out uh, what's up, Doc.
StanHouston at gmail.com, StanHouston at gmail.com. All the best and blessings to you, and bye for now.